versus pronunciation. Many people equate accent with pronunciation. I don't feel this to be true at all. America is a big country, and while the pronunciation varies from the east coast to the west coast, from the southern to the northern states, two components that are uniquely American stay basically the same, the speech music or intonation, and the word connections or lessons. Throughout this program, we will focus on them. In the later part of the book, we will work on pronunciation concepts such as cat, calf, cat, and very about a bit of better butter. We also will work our way through some of the difficult sounds such as th, the American r, the l, v, and z. Which accent is correct? American accent training was created to help people sound American for lectures, interviews, teaching, business situations, and general daily communication. Although America has many regional pronunciation differences, the accent you will learn is that of standard American English, spoken and understood by the majority of educated educated native speakers in the United States. Don't worry that you will sound slangy or too casual because you most definitely won't. This is the way a, prof a professor lectures to a class, the way a national newscaster broadcasts, the way, is, the way that is most comfortable and familiar to the majority of native speakers. Why is my accent so bad? Learners can be seriously hampered by a negative outlook, so I'll address this very important point early. First, your accent is not bad. It's non-standard to the American ear. There is a job that goes, what, what do you call a person who can speak three languages? Trilingual. What do you call a person who can speak two languages? Bilingual. What do you call a person who can speak one language? American. Every language is a equally valid or good, so every accent is good. The average American, however, truly does have a hard time understanding a non-standard accent. George Bernard Shaw said, said that the English and Americans are two people divided by the same language. Some students, some students learn to overpronounce English because they naturally want to say the word as it's written. Too often an English teacher may allow this, perhaps thinking the colloquial American English is unsophisticated, unrefined, or even incorrect. Not so at all, just as you don't say the T in listen, the double T in better is pronounced D better. Any other pronunciation will sound foreign, strange, wrong, or different in the nat in a native speaker. Less than it appears, more than it appears. As you will see in exercise 121, squeeze out syllables on page 18, some words appear to have three or more syllables, but all of them are not actually spoken. For example, business is not business. <clears throat> but rather business. Just when you get used to eliminating all syllables from words, you're going to come across other words to look as if they have only one syllable. But really need to be said with as many as three with as many as three. In addition, the inserted syllables are filled with letter that are in a written word. I'll give you two examples of this strange phenomenon. Pool looks like a nice, one syllable word, but if you say it this way, at best it will sound like pool, and at worst will be unintelligible to your listener. For clear comprehension, you need to say three syllables, pool. Where did that W come from? It's certainly not written down anywhere, but it's there just as definitely as the P is there. The second example is the word like feel. 
if you say just the letters that you see, it will sound more like feel. You need to say feel. Is that really a Y? Yes. These mysterious semi-vowels are explained under lessons in chapter 2. They can appear either inside a word as you have seen or between words as you will learn. Thank you.